This is the solution to written homework 14. The purpose of this exercise is to test your ability to do substitutions. So for the first one, <clears throat> the substitution necessary is u is equal to square root of t. Then du is 1 over 2 square root t dt. And if you look at the original antiderivative, it can be written as e to square root t and then multiplied by 1 over square root t dt. So we almost have that. All that we need to do is make this 2 du. So 2 du is 1 over square root t dt. So making that substitution, the antiderivative becomes e to u and then 2 du. And that 2 is just a constant, so it doesn't affect anything. <clears throat> So this would be 2 e to u plus some unknown constant. So 2 e to square root t plus some unknown constant. <clears throat> the second one requires the substitution u is x plus 6. So du is dx. And this many students regard this example as tricky because this u will cover this x plus 6 and this du, so this x plus 6 goes with this u and this du goes with this dx and then many students get stuck here wondering what to do with this x <clears throat> and the answer is with this equation, you can solve for x. So this is u minus 6 is x. So this blue u minus 6 can cover that blue x. As a result, the new antiderivative is antiderivative u minus 6 and then divided by u to 4 du. Now some algebraic simplification. This would be u to negative 3 <coughs> minus 6 u to negative 4 du. And now we can use the power rule on each term. So that would be u to negative 2 divided by negative 2 minus 6 u to negative 3 divided by negative 3 plus an unknown constant and then resubstituting x x plus 6 to negative 2 divided by negative 2 <coughs> minus 6 x plus 6 to negative 3 divide by negative 3 plus an unknown constant. On part C <clears throat> this antiderivative could be rewritten as 5 plus 
e to negative 3x to 5, and then move this e to negative e to 3x to the numerator as e to negative 3x. And then hopefully at this point the substitution is more obvious. So u is 5 plus e to negative 3x. <coughs> du, the derivative of 5 is 0. The derivative of e to negative 3x is e to negative 3x dx. Uh, forgot the negative 3. negative 3 dx. So we're missing this negative 3 in the antiderivative. So we can divide by negative 3. And that's enough to cover everything in the original antiderivative. That gives u to 5, du over negative 3. That division by negative 3 is just a constant, so it doesn't affect the antiderivative. And u to 5 is a power rule, so this is u to 6 over 6, and multiplied by 1 over negative 3, plus a constant. And then now to substitute back in, that would be 5 plus <coughs> e to negative 3x to 6, divided by, I'll combine those and make it negative 18, plus a constant.